M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning the Zygu X6200 and today we're going to use Wi-Fi and you may say to yourself what is the point of Wi-Fi? Well two reasons, it sets the time for you, it allows you to connect to WFView server which is built into this device and SDR control which I have tested on the 6100 and will be testing on this and SDR control is a fantastic program designed for the ICOM radios. This little device I've got here, these are only about, I don't know, about 12 pound, I think it was maybe, it was under 20. And it has a, look, if you look here, you can see my little mouse moving around and it has a keyboard. Yeah, I'm charging it at the moment, it's USB-C charging. And the way it's getting its signal for, for, you know, to the Zygu is if you look here, just on the right hand side, I've got an adapter in what they call, Let's just show you it properly. The host port, okay. That's USB-C going into that. Very nice looking uh, adapter connections on this radio. It just, it just, they really aesthetically got it right. I mean, look at the microphone. It's just beautiful. But anyway, so, and the way that the, this little mic, uh, sorry, keyboard connects is this dongle here, right? And it's working fine. So let's go to the Wi-Fi section by going to System. And you'll see WF View Server there, but I'm going to make a completely separate video using that. Because it's well, it, it, it definitely warrants a separate video and it's great fun doing it as well. Then we're going to go across to Wireless LAN. So we're going to turn the outer knob here. Turn it until it says Wireless LAN. And we're going to push push the knob and I, I, I have sort of tinkered with this before so it might turn on by default but if you look here it's not on and there is an actual on button so we're going to press on and if it doesn't scan automatically there's a scan selection just there we can do that So no, it's not scanning yet. So we're going to collect, select scan and let it search. And it finds some of my Wi-Fi's. So let's select one of them. You select by turning the outer knob, see the outer knob, select Mercury and then enter. That's the one and it puts it up here. It says Mercury 10 now. And now we want to get down actually to our password. Now, more advanced, we can set IP addresses than that. But right now, we just want to log into it, don't we? So to go up and down this section, we're turning this knob with the red line on it until we get down to password. And let's type our password. Now, I've noticed with my keyboard and the other keyboard, it keeps going, it keeps deleting. I don't know if that's a bug. So we're going to select the on-screen key, on -screen keyboard by pressing the VKB here. And then we'll just start to do it the manual way. I notice they've got capitals and small letters on the same screen. And that is allowing me to enter my, you know, my digits. To select numbers, you press the, this arrow here. See that one, two, three, and it even gives this. And then back. You've got the backspace is the second arrow in. So now I'll hit connect, second arrow in, and hopefully it will connect. Took a minute, but um, it now says connected. And then you can hit the exit button, which is underneath my thumb. We now have Wi Fi just showing here. I'm interested to know if it will eventually correct the time. Let's go to system. Now, WFU server, we're not going to do it now, but I'll just go into it like so. And there's the default username and passwords. And you just click start. And when you click start, I might have a quick look at my computer if it's still on there and it fires up. Um, when you hit, when it does start, okay, it says the word stop now, so it should show on the screen. Yeah, WFU server there. 
Okay, well that's handy because it did connect. I only had to tell it the IP address, which I could find on my network search. It just showed up as Zygu X6 200. And let me just show you it all connected. There it is connecting or connected. Yeah, okay, I need to mess around and I've only just literally quickly connected. Look, even the colors of the screen says they're jet. And I'll do another video on this, but look, listen in the background to the radio. Hear it tune in. And then the band, change it to 80. There you are, you can hear that that changed. And I can see in the background that everything's changing. All the frequencies. Let me just show you as I do it. So on the PC, I'm even going to hit transmit. M0FXB test, test, test. M0FXB test. WFU. Looking good. Um, change mode. You can't see, but well, you can see it. It's very small, but it did change mode. Let's do CW. So yeah, we can type frequency if we want. Let's try your air band. One, three, three, dot, eight, five, zero. Uh, I've typed it, now how do we enter that? <laughs> Let me just try hitting enter. Yes. And then change the mode. AM, and we're now listening air band. Don't think we'll get much today. We're on the HF antenna. But anyway, WFU is working. Via Wi-Fi. M0FXB. Bye for now. All the best.